primary articles and how key they are to your success as an internet marketer. In the past, I've talked about primary articles themselves and how they need to be written and what they should include and how you use them on your website. We also talked about ways of creating those primary articles. Two, there are two. One, you can write them yourself or you can find other people to write them. And in another video, I talked about where you find these people. In this video, let's talk about once you find the people, how do you screen and hire the right ones? And what do you do to protect yourself from all the problems employees can bring you? But if you follow the directions I gave in the earlier video, you will have lots of applicants. And once you get the applicants, then you've got to sit down and screen them. Figure out which are the right ones. And there's some secrets if you follow that I'm going to give you and you do these things correctly, you will always have a good supply of writers who can supply you with great articles that will make your websites do quite well. Once you start getting the applicants coming in, there's a review process you do. Now, first of all, you will require them to provide a resume, a cover letter, letter writing samples, and references. And you want to look at each one of these and require each one of these to be submitted. After you've gone through that and looked at the ones you think will be successful or that will do a good job for you, you always do a phone interview. Even if you're dealing with overseas writers today with Skype and everything else, you, it is possible to talk to them on the phone. But it's very important to talk to them on the phone so you can gauge the type of person they are and make sure that they're the type you want to work with. In the phone interview, you tell them exactly what you need and when you need it and find out what their current situation is. Find out if it's temporary or if this is their career or whatever. You also want to establish the pay. Tell them what you're willing to pay. Many times when you tell them what you're willing to pay, people will say absolutely not. And in some cases, it's okay to end the interview right there and move on. And you need to establish their availability now and in the future. You want to know if they're going to be there, if you work with them, are they going to be worth the investment in your time. You also want to give them a test product project. Give them three articles to write and say, here, here are three subjects. Write articles on these and be careful. On this interview, don't commit to anything just yet. You are not ready to make the commitment. Now, the test project you want to give them are three articles on the subject matter of your niche or whatever you, char or you choose to check them out and insist on this. They have to do it. And when you get these in, what they're going to do, they're going to demonstrate whether or not this person can write. And also, this is the first place to check for plagiarism because many times people will try and take a shortcut and they'll copy it and you definitely don't want that so this is the time to weed those out don't go any further if any of the material in their test articles are is not original okay the reference check this is very important and many times people overlook it but you need to take the references and actually follow up on them and the one key question you want to ask the reference is would you hire this person again and most of the time people will be honest with you and they'll give an honest reply that will tell you whether or not you should hire this person if they want to hire him again there's something wrong in-person interview if you can do it this is good sometimes it's not uh, practical to have an in-person interview, but if they're close enough by, it's always good to do an in-person interview. You've made your selection. You've picked the person that you want. Now, in this type of work, it's very important to have a written agreement. Make sure they sign this agreement, and this agreement should lay out such things as the pay terms, the deadlines, and especially that you own the work. I mean, they'll write it when you're paying for them. It is yours. And several other, whatever else you want to put in there to, that you want to address up front and put it in writing. The key reason for doing this in writing is that if you ever want to sell your business, and the first thing people are going to ask when they come in there is, do you own the content? Is it yours? Can anybody else make any claims on it? And if you can't document the fact that you own it, more than likely they're not going to buy it. So if you follow these 
procedures and do every one of them correctly, you have a 99% chance of ending up with great writers that are going to give you good material. Now, if you want to learn more about these details, about finding the writers and how to handle them, screen them and hire them and manage them, go to this site and it will tell you everything you need to know about procuring great articles.